Okay, so here we are. And uh, the goal is to put on that gear. I got some gear down there. I don't know if you can see it, but I get that gear on. And I'm uh, gonna get in the water. My stomach is getting so big. What the fuck? Hey, you think they're over the price? Oh, not too much. Yeah. I mean, but they got everything. You know, yeah. it's like, oh, it's like the, the fish in Walmart, you know? Yeah. There you, know. you go. So they Perfect can, like, name. put their own prices on it. You know? Some of these guys can be uh, like, you go on their deal. Well, they make lures now, those guys. They, they design I got them. them. They, they, they change up. And, yeah. Other guys lures, they mix them up, they know what the hell they're talking about. The, uh, like I got this deep diver, uh, uh, river to sea minnow. River to sea minnow? Yeah, or, yeah, it's a river to sea deep diver. Man, every time I use it, it pops off. <laughs> every time you use it, what happened? My line's not strong enough. This is like an ounce and a half. What happens? I lose them. Whew. Every time. Fuck. And they're 25 bucks a pop. Well, how many times are you going to take it more than that? Hey, I'm Joe, by the way. I'm Joe. This is me. I ain't never seen you here before. Uh, I, uh, live in Cannonsburg. Like I said, I'm supposed to be working. <laughs> you live way down there? Yeah, I live in Cannonsburg, but, but our service is Chippewa Walmart. Oh, fuck. Oh. And the giant is. I'm gonna get in that water, man. <laughs> I got. I I need hip surgery. He's oh. in the water and he floats all over the lake. <laughs> With them things. And he takes videos of it, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know why, man. I think I just want to make some. I have to put some kind of purpose in it, you know. Like it ain't no sharks in here. They think you're a fucking seal. <laughs> it no, might. Yeah. It might give me the motivation I need to move quicker. Tell you somebody, if that's the only thing you do that rely good for you. There's a bunch of people in this world that are goo goo that do all kind of shit. Oh god. Well, I need hip replacement, man. I'm just trying to keep going. So I might be able to recover from the surgery if ever I get it from the VA. Well, the way you see me walking the way I'm walking is because I, I ain't getting that back operation. I had my I had my back fused, man. My neck and my lumbar, and it was the best thing that I could have done. You know, I, but you know, and I, I'd have this hip replacement done tomorrow if the VA wasn't. Hey, you don't mind me smoking a little bit of homie, do you? You got some homegrown? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just call it a homie. Hey, it won't be long, man. Maybe another year from now, you'll be able to have a few plants. Put in a put in a hydroponic system in your basement. <laughs> I mean, it's damn near legal anyway. It is in Ohio now. Oh yeah. yeah. I went over there the other day. They got they're like candy stores over there now. You can go, you can go they got gummy. Gummies, you name it. Really? They, they got candy where you can bite off. Oh yeah. Uh. around man I gotta get in gig I gotta get moving here. This is a whole nother field. Yeah. You know what though Joe the thing is man 
Right, how do you know if you get a strain that's not going to make you a couch potato and another strain that can give you, give you some euphoria, make you feel like doing something? Okay, so they have, well, they have indica, sativa. Indica, sativa, and hybrid. Hybrid, yeah. S sativa makes you get up. Indica makes you just lay down. Yeah, hybrid. Call it in the couch. Yeah, hell yeah. You, eat them, does not doubt it's going to take a nap. So you want, in, you want the indica? Indica or I what? do not. I'm a sativa guy. Okay, but sativa like it chills you out, right? It's more like no, a milk. Sativa gives you energy. Oh, uh, to where you're not like stuck on the couch. You, you know what? I mean, it's like the indica is the is the strain that I have I've learned that gave me euphoria. Does it work differently? Sometimes, yeah. Oh yeah, it just depends on the quality. I. That's another thing. I knew this guy that had like 120 strains and he gave me the best seed that he had and I, I grew, you know, I, I was able to get some, some strains that were like, I told him what I wanted and he knew exactly what to give me, you know, but he did, he did give me a strain though in there that was like a couch potato freaking strain. I, I don't know. I, I got kids. I can't do all that. Me? You mean have a grow unit and everything, right? No, I'm talking about be a couch potato. I got six kids. Holy crap, man. Okay. Well, I mean, three of them are mine, three of them are. You ain't got much time. You should do it. No, I'm fucking, I'm out. So you have three and she brought three. Yeah. You know what the best com... I'll pay for them. The best combination I ever had was Adderall when I had a prescription and a good strain of, uh... <laughs> and a good strain, and a good vape pen with a good, you know, good strain in it, you know? You you could sit you could sit down and freaking be as active as you can be. Oh, I bet. Yeah. You know your mind, you know, so much clarity. I would I could sit down like even with my all my physical challenges and uh, and and work. You know, but I don't know. The VA, you can't. Hey, that's amazing, man. That's good. That's, that it's good. Amazing. It's good for it's good for anybody that's medicating. I am concerned, man. When I was a kid, I I would get high, and it ruined my uh, academia. I mean, like I hardly even could could even read a chapter out of a textbook. You know, some people would affect that way if you have like attention deficit disorder. You know. Oh yeah. But I know a guy. Hey, Joe. Damn right it is. I looked at him. I said, well, "Mine's running out now." But Joe, I heard, I heard that if you do get a, if you get it that way, that you, that you have, that you aren't allowed to even own. Uh, I'm gone. Yeah, is that yeah. true? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. See, I mean, not everyone knows. I, I no, but no, it's I true. No, I, I, I got, a, I own guns. I mean, a lot of them. But and, and they've never. So nothing, nothing ever. No one ever said anything to you about it, right? Oh, okay. I, I mean, I buy a shit out of guns now. Then go get the cards for twenty five dollars. There you go. Yeah. I thought that's how it worked, though, right? I mean, I don't. I don't think uh, you. Yeah, yeah. It takes what you're. Uh, right. To purchase new firearms. I oh no, kid! No grandfather in what you own. If you say no on there, you're not taking any kind of illegal drugs. It's registered through the state. Okay, so in other words, it would show up. I think so. Isn't that fucked up? That's none of their business. Well. 
what kind of what kind of test do they give you? Like if like if I go out there and I was high driving, do they have a special test now? How are they going to know that you're high right then? Right. And it's just not in your blood in your system. Right. That's what I don't understand. They're going to come up with a test where you're going to breathe on something. Oh yeah. And you oh yeah that's my hard waste. You know. You know it, man, because there's a lot of money they're going to be there's making. Money. Exactly. People are going to be going to have so much of it in their system. You know, could, you know all, if they can make money off of it, they're gonna fucking do it. Ain't that the truth, brother? Yeah. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Ridiculous. It's like it ain't really about safety when it comes. No, it's about money. It's about money. Because if you get a DUI, you get a lawyer, it, they'll drop it. Hey, you got the money. I, I mean, I used to smoke a lot when I, you know, younger and everything, and I mean, there were times there where. You know, when you're driving and high, I'm, I'm not, I, look, I know, I'm just saying I do it. But you become really freaking careful and paranoid. Paranoid as shit. It That's, isn't, yeah. yeah, it's not like when you're drunk and you make exactly. the... Exactly. It's totally... You're like over careful. Exactly. Right. You're like, holy shit. What, what am I doing? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So I don't know, man. Dressed like that, paranoid, running around. <laughs> hey, nowadays, I'm just like, hey, man, whatever. What are you going to do? Yeah. Anyway, I'm out of here. It's good talking with you guys. Nice talking to you. Hey, my uh, my Facebook page is look for Jim Kozier, K O S I O R. That way you can look at you and get your photos. And if you want Take me to. Take my number down. What's that? Take, take my phone number down. I'll give you my phone number because I don't have my phone. Okay, cool. 724 312. Wait, hold on. Sorry. 724 312. 5822. Okay. Yeah, man, just uh, just yeah, send me a quick one, and I'll, I'll send I'll send a link back to you. Look, I'm not. You said Jim, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, who knows, man? They might they, those photos of my butter. They might look really good. I'll t I'll do a little bit of retouching too, you know. Cool. I appreciate it, man. Sure thing. Ah, uh, hey, Joe. The finest people I meet are down here at Brady's. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit, here we go. Oh god. This is where it gets tough to put my... It's hard for me to bend down with this, with my hips. It's hard for you to do a lot of shit too, huh Joe? Oh god. Ew. Oh god. Oh lord. <sighs> oh shit. No exaggeration, man. It's like so self-defeating, you know, the going through all this. Uh, uh, self-defeating. Self-defeating. The pain. But it isn't. I mean it's coming from me, but it's not. It's internal, but you know, I, I have no control. I have, oh, I have a little control. Oh, it's hard, man. Like, how do I get, put this shit on? This, the right one is challenging, but the left one is like nearly impossible to fucking. Oh god, it's hard. Fucking hard, man. So fucking hard. You know, you keep thinking you're gonna be able to get in, in a position. You know, it's gonna be easier to do it. And, and you can't. The only position, maybe if I sit down, then it, then it. But I can't pull my leg up. Holy oh, for. Oh God. Oh Lord. Oh God. Oh God. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh Lord. That was rough. Okay. Okay, we got that far. Now I'm gonna. Put the leg weights on. Ooh. Oh. Let's get him. Oh. Oh, fuck. Once I get in that water, I got about an hour. I think if I can do it. I don't know. Took a bunch of pre-workout, caffeine, shit. It'll help. This fucking thing. Okay. Turn it Fucking stomach on me. Oh, you motherfucker. Is 
think about it is, you know, I don't think about it like I, like I would when I was a young man. Like, okay, a stomach, you know, you're unattractive, you know, because you're thinking about it. women all the time. It's different, you know. It's their motivation. It's got to come from something else, you know, a purity. So, God, this is tough. Motherfucker. Really tough. Oh, I got the, I got the top one. Now I gotta get the bottom. Make an adjustment. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. This bottom one's gonna be too tight, huh? I don't know. It might stay. It's not clipping in there. If you make it too tight, it'll fucking cause your problems. So, let's go. Here we go. That should do it. Right there. Almost there. The left leg, though. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, here we go. There it is. All right, we got the, the right one is home. Now we got to get to left. Oh, it's gonna be rough. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, Jesus God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, it's so fucking difficult. So fucking hard. Oh, you fucker. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, okay. Gotta loosen. Okay. Loosen this one up. Okay, okay. Fuck. Motherfucker. Where is it? belly. I don't know how I'm going to get that out of control. I don't know. Let's get in the water. Do that. It's not tight enough. Hmm. Oh, fucker. I should number these. That way I'm not having to adjust them. I kind of know why I don't fucking number them. I will. Tonight, but I will fucking number them. Makes a lot of sense, you know? Alright, that's good. <sighs> mm. The first two are are ones that uh I don't feel like explaining it. I don't feel like explaining it. Alright, here we go. You fucker. Alright, here we go. This one's gonna go over here like this. Okay, I grab this one. Huh. Gonna tighten that up. Every time it's this much of an effort or more, 
Honestly, okay. The other way. What the fuck? Yeah, okay. Like, okay, here we go. I'm trying to swing this around. Fucker. All right. There we go. All right. Missing, I'm missing some ties. No, they're here, they're here. Oh god, here we are. One and two. These ties are for the sides. Like I the straps on the sides. That way I can tie them together so they won't creep up, you know, towards my head, you know. Uh, right. Without showing you what I do, it all sounds abstract, and weird, and weird, you know. So it is what it is. Okay, now. Two to the back. Oh, easy one, right? Two to the back. There we go, like that. I'll take it around this side. All right, come on. It's so fucking difficult. Oh, here we go, here we go, I got it. Don't I? Yeah. Here we are, okay. Okay, I'm doing this one. Okay, what do we got left? Got a couple more belts. <sighs> two to the front. <sighs> yeah, two more to the front. My back is so fucking tight right now. So tight. Here we go, we got it. Let's put this one. Oh god. Oh man, this sucks. Come on, all right. Did I get it? Yeah. Okay, hold on this one. Oh, you fucker. Hmm, slipped out. Oh, since it's to the back. No, it's to the front. Fuck. Okay. Here we go, fucker. All right, we got hold of it. Okay. Tie it in. Still got three belts. All right. Put one to the back and then one to the front, I guess. And then one to the front. Okay. We'll double up on these ones right here, I think. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, good fucker. Front and back. Oh, I'm gonna have to put it that way. Right away. My back is so tight right now. Fucking tight, boy. Oh, it's so fucking tight. Here we go, here we go. Get a hold of it. I can just bring it around. Not easy. Not easy. 
Oh gosh, I'm gonna lose it. Got to swing it again. Do I got it? I see. I got it. I got it. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Not straight like I like it, like I want, I want it to be. But it is, it is what it is. Fuck. You fuck. I gotta come up with a better system than this. <sighs> Got to. <sighs> All right, this one. Oh God. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I got it. I got it. Okay. There it is. All right. Over top. Right here. I think we're okay now. I think we're ready. What about this one? I'm gonna put this one around. One more. All right, I think it's it. No. Oh God. God, what? <laughs> oh, Joe, you out of here? I gotta make some calls. I'll be here for a little. Oh, bit. okay. You too, Joe. Nice seeing you. All right, all right. We got it, baby. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, that's it, man. That's it. Oh, God. My back is so tight right now. Oh, it's so fucking tight. Whew. I can barely fucking move. Honestly. Oh, my God. Horrible. Oh. Oh God, fucking horrible. Oh. oh God, here we go. Oh, so. Let's see where this thing is. Whew. All right. Oh my God. Oh, it's fucking horrible. Hey, well, I wanna see where this is. All right, when I get out in the water, I'm gonna take it off. And see where it's aiming towards because why the hell would I have this thing around my on my head and shit if it's not you know doing a good job you know oh the sun is setting so quick fucking quick oh. when I struggle like that my fucking you know where I get my teeth are bad start to hurt because I'm pushing beyond like uh, what I can handle this water I'm anticipating it's gonna be cold we've had a couple cold nights down in the 40s so the water you know it only got up to about it still got up to like 76 today but it was a cool day a cool 76 you know I don't know what this is gonna mean except I need a thicker wetsuit for days to come if I'm going to push this out into the winter. It's going to take <sighs> double socks. At least, I think seven, oh, seven millimeter is not going to be enough. I'm going to have to have uh, probably, uh, what am I going to need? 
oh I don't know maybe a seven plus a three like put a three on as the under under and then like the one I got running right now I think is a three and it's cold it's it's cold I can really feel that man seeping in and the only way you can do this when it gets real cold is to try to warm up before you get in the water try to warm up before you get in here what does that mean well it means that uh, I don't know you know it's hard to move man but if I was healthy I would oh this feels good man if I were healthy or you know I would jog in place or something you know or, I, or if I was really healthy, I would literally jog, go for a, a 15 minute jog, work up a sweat, and then get in. So then you already have that warm, you're warm, you know, uh, it would help. Where am I at right now? I can feel the cold seeping in. It's not as bad as it could be, you know, so. What's the goal today? Hmm. What is the goal? Ah, the water. The water. Oh, look at that. Where I am. It's. Uh, the goal. Yeah, you know what though? It's not as bad as you'd think. It's okay. We're still okay. Hey, do me a favor. Sure. Are you standing up there? No, it's over my head. There? Yes. Okay, I'm trying to figure out just how deep. Yeah, here, here it's over my head because my flippers are hanging down this far and I can't touch them. You know, I'm pointing down, so it's over my head here. You know, yeah, it, it takes this distance, though, to get it deep because in there it's all pretty shallow. Now, from that point on, is it deep out there? Yeah, oh yeah, it's, 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 it's real deep, you know, over there to the, the furthest edge because that's a cliff over there. It's a cliff. But, yeah, that's what that is, a cliff. And you can see it, you know, that it's like a, a walled cliff with rocks. But How far over? oh, you have to go all the you have to go all the way over to where you see the shore for you to hit okay, that. Okay, so it's all the way on that side. Yes, but but here you're over your head here, so I mean it's. Ah, that I don't know. I think it. I I, I think I, I I can't. I don't know because I've never done any diving in here. Hi. Uh, I heard it's like 20 feet deep over at the back end. Go ahead, let, let him let him know. He, he's a, he's what we... Oh, it, it can't be that deep. Because I've seen it coming on off the boat. You probably got about four feet maybe here. Yeah, yeah, it, it's real shallow in there, man. Yeah. Catch you later, Joe. Catch you later. Okay, let's see where this. What are you doing? You know what? I, I'm a I'm a two branch veteran. Are you a veteran? I'm not, but I have friends who are. Well, you know what? Okay. I've been I've been literally waiting over five years for hip replacement surgery, and um, you know I, I I mean it's just things have just been things really went downhill, you know, because you know being so inactive because I am in so much pain. Is this like a physical therapy thing then? That's that's what it is, yeah. It's a It's excellent. Do you enjoy it? Um, you know what? It's so much trouble to get in here like, you know, it takes me so it's, it's so painful cuz I can't can't even tie my own shoe right now, you know. Oh, so to to walk in Oh god. Where you're finally weightless. I mean, walk. like, you know, okay, I've got on some uh I got on these flippers and see the leg weights? Yeah. And it pulls down, you know, on the impingement, you know, like a nerve impingement. And it helps, but you know what? Uh, it, it, it must be worse than what it was because this these are five pound weights on my ankles, and it still is not doing what it was doing like last year. It was better, you know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's something though. I I don't know, man. I um. If you were in the military, you'd know what I mean. It's like rank has its privileges when you serve, 
And then when you get out and you're in the VA and you're like, I don't think it's any different out here. Yeah, well. I, I don't believe if I was a major or, you know, a captain or a colonel, I, I would have had to wait it over five years for hip replacement. I don't believe that for one moment. Do you? No. No. Not at all. So, you know, it's, it's screwed, man. It's like, I know it sounds really pessimistic of me, cynical, that I would say at the upper echelon of decision making, the management and the VA, they deal with a certain amount of money they have to take care of the largest healthcare system we have in our nation, it's the VA. So, you know, it's like making a decision like having having a veterans, disabled veterans wait, you know, for years to get a surgery like hip surgery. They know how long, what the average is somebody lives after it's determined. Oh yeah, no, no, no I understand, yep. Yeah, man, I too, I- Dad, now that you do say it, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. My dad worked for, um, he was Army Reserve, and then he worked at a VA hospital for a while, and he was, he was basically he was, well, treating people to wait, right, you know. How long was he in there, how long was he a reservist? Uh, I'm not sure, at least, I would want to say at least probably six years. Or okay. He was in North, North Dakota, Minot, cleaning fucking missiles. Okay. Oh, man, it's crazy. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I mean, I, there's a, I'm glad that, I mean, I just went up and got, you know, I got a new prescription for my glasses at the VA and some things are good at but unless you're 100 unless you are literally 100% rated disabled you can't even get a tooth pulled so you know so I went up there with a tooth infection and I get these nasty infections look at my teeth brother tell me about it so I went up there I needed an antibiotic and they're like sorry we don't we don't give any anything any care for a tooth and I'm like what's well, a the tooth has caused a bodily infection so you know, go. Oh yeah, no, that's. Dangerous. Isn't that the dumbest thing you ever heard? What is the difference between a tooth infection and an infection you get it's in your body? Right. But hey, man, I I hate to cut it short. What's your name? Jim. What's yours, sir? Jim. Steve. Hey, Steve. Very nice to meet Steve. you, brother. My dad's name is Jim. Hey. My middle name is James. So. Hey, James. I'll tell you what, man. I I pray you get uh, in Jesus' name. You get the you get the same kind of dental care I'm hoping to get. Yeah. All right. Because it'll, because it'll mess up your health, man. It's very challenging. So I, I do pray you get what you need, brother, to get it taken care of. Me too. I hope you feel better with the legs too. Thanks, thanks a lot, man. Nice talking. Man. Nice talking to you too, brother. <laughs> That's too cool, right? I'm gonna have to just gamble about this, where this lens is. I, I don't want to reach up on this, take this helmet down, and get this pond water on my camera just to see where it's at because I'm about to touch the camera you know and anytime I'm touching this water it's a lot of bacteria and uh, look that's the only that's the only drawback from this water is the bacteria other than that man yeah it's great and look if it's got bacteria in it, as long as I don't get the a bacterial infection. Think of it this way: the water's the water's good if there's bacteria in it. You know, if there's there were all kinds of uh, I don't know what they call water foliage, but there was a lot of it. You know, here too, and uh, so it's it's what I'm saying is it's sustaining life, and versus you go get in a chemical pool. And what do you, what, what, you know, that's chemicals in there to kill whatever bacterium, viruses too, you know, so bacterium, but anything that's alive. And then you get in the pool, you know, our largest organ, you know, is our skin. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like I'm making it up, but I know, I was just as amazed. I got a toothache right now because of the effort. I put forth. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the island, and if I can, when I get back, I'll swim down to the uh, to the dam. But I'm gonna set a goal right now for the island. My fucking tooth is bothering me. I'm gonna have to probably treat this with ivermectin tonight. Cause I can feel it, man. Now, my pharmacist, you know, at the VA, 
He's like, oh, the ivermectin. He doesn't think it's doing anything. And I'm like, well, I'll tell you what. If I've been controlling infections in both my upper and lower, you know, I got teeth, a couple of teeth I'm chewing with. That's all that's left. But controlling infections, if the ivermectin is controlling it, if you want to call that a placebo effect, then go ahead. But I, if it inhibits the propagation of worms, well, I mean, could very well um, do the same with a bacterium. And I think that's what happens because I'll use peroxide and uh, get, you know, get it up into the where the bacteria is uh, work its way up my nerves, you know, from my teeth and that are got such cavities. And then, then I'll put the ivermectin in and leave it in that area with those teeth for as long as I can, I mean, before I swallow it. In the time that it's up in there, it gets real, a real war, war, real warm in that area. It means it's doing something. You can feel it, the whole side of my face will get, you can feel the warmth, you know, especially, you know, inside. I don't know if you, what the temperature reading will be on the peripheral, peripheral, periphery of my skin on my cheek and everything outside you know near outside of my mouth you know what I'm talking about but it feels warm and it's like there's an a yeah it's really weird we must pick up a lot of parasites Unknowingly, like why I'm saying that is because <laughs> nobody will want to hear this, but even around your anus, when you take ivermectin, you'll have an itchy sensation because I think there are back there bacteria or whatever that's are trying to escape from the ivermectin <laughs> go ahead go ahead Phil that sounds fucking ridiculous yeah whatever whatever oh this guy <laughs> anyway check that out is that cool or what I mean, in the, uh, like, before the leaves all come in, this tree that's falling down this limb into the water, it looks like two hands joined, praying. It's really cool looking, you know. Yeah, let me get a little closer. Pretty neat, huh? Mm. You see that ring that's on there? Somebody has put an eyelet on there that they can anchor or tie a rope onto. That is so weird. Do you see it? Isn't that cool? It's different, right? That tree right there is a witch hazel tree. There are pods on that tree that, you know, that's how it propagates. This tree is pretty much doomed to not be able to propagate. It drops its seeds into the, into this reservoir and, oh, I just hit something there. <laughs> something on my feet. Anyway, it'll never propagate. The seeds become, you know, waterlogged and die. 
over time. You guys have a Never had the chance to propagate. Hmm. Yep. going at this real easy. I mean a freshwater pool. A freshwater pool baby. That would be a heck of a lot better than you know, a pool that's filled with chemicals. As soon as I get provision, I don't know if I'll be able to find like um, the situation that I'm thinking about with us with an underground indoor pool. So. I need enough money to have one put in. It doesn't have to be an Olympic sized pool, <laughs> but I don't want it just to be a wading pool either. It's big enough that the length, you know, you swing, so you go a length and turn around, and have a measure of what you're doing by how many times. To traverse it. That's what I'm thinking. Second year now that I haven't even had the urge to hunt. You know, and uh, in Jesus' name, I. Uh, I'm just not, I like the thoughts of harvesting a deer around here where there was all that con contamination. You have to figure everything out here got contaminated. Every plant, every tree. So the deer, rabbits, squirrels, everything, you know, every living thing got a dose. And what does that mean? Oh, what does it mean? I don't know. I certainly don't want to ingest diseased animals. I say that in how many, you know, hogs, how much, how, many, how much beef, poultry, you know, is contaminated, you know? That you buy, you know what I mean? You don't even know where it came from. There there are inspectors that you know can you know just show up anytime on these poultry or you know beef, I mean uh, poultry, you know hogs, hogs turkey, whatever it is, they can show up and inspect, but it doesn't, we had, I mean, I've seen inspectors at work, it all depends upon the inspector, what mood he's in, sometimes, I'm sure there are some really good inspectors, not all, a lot of pressure on an inspector to he shows up at a farm or 
a slaughterhouse, packing house. When he shuts that line down on, you know, in a cut, cut, cut line or, you know, in a slaughterhouse or a packing house, he's costing that company a lot of money. So it's quick solutions. We'll bring a hose out and hose the area down. I've seen it. Um, you're always, you know, you, you need to inspect, you know, whatever produce you get. It's kind of certainly is an individual. You got a responsibility, is what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put some pep in this a little bit here. I doubt that you can see that island up there, I don't know. But that's the goal, to go around that island and uh, my pace. Obviously I'm speaking, I'm talking, I'm not winded, so I'm going pretty easy. It's just a movement, I'm just trying to get some movement in, man. There is no uh, motivation to speed it up to try to get the heart rate up to a certain number or anything. I don't even know. I can feel I got like a dull warning in my around you know on the side of my heart, but um, it's dull. You know, I I took some. A lot of L-arginine, it still didn't affect me the way that it should have. I took two tablespoons of pharmaceutical L-arginine, which you're supposed to take a teaspoon of. I took two tablespoons heaping. Plus there was L-arginine and citrulline in the pre-workout that I took. I took some baby aspirin to thin the blood. And I don't know. I don't know. My wife so wants to get the fuck out of here. So do I. You know, I don't want the stigma of a disability. Um, in truth, I should. Uh, I mean, look, I honestly, in all fairness and decency, I should be given the status of retirement at a decent pay grade with back pay from the time of the time that I was uh, discharged from the Air Force. Maybe if the right person listens to my story. I don't know. Who do I bring it to the attention of? I don't know. There's acorns that are falling from that tree. I just saw one. I didn't see the acorn, but I saw the kerplunk. Okay.
with this oar, you've got to hit it twice. Now there's a bird up here on this same area. I always try to sneak up on them. I think there's one perched out there. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if I'll get close enough to the bird. That uh, the camera will get a good shot of him. Like right in front, like superimposed upon those vehicles. Even though it's, I don't know, 50 yards, 75 yards from the cars. I don't have any a background that I can find for its silhouette. But there it goes, just moved its wings. But I don't have a, an adequate background. The cars, eh, you know, the cars are going to be the best background I'll have because there is there is a. Mm. It's not the best, but it's going to have to do. I don't see any other background. If I get into that dark green, I can be able to see them very well. Oh, I got a cramp in my fucking foot. Oh, I hate that fucking hate. Clear skies, huh? Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh, we got two birds. Two birds. You know what? I think it looks better coming in. They might be light enough. Like, I'm looking at that one bird on the left. See the two? You can almost see its figure. not bad. I mean, it's not great either, though. If I were up higher, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to get this shot. The one to the right, it's almost a cool shot. The one to the left, eh, not so much. How close will I be able to get? I'll get close enough where you know they'll they'll think enough is enough you're not getting that close to me can you see them yeah I'm gonna quit moving the oar and just kick the flippers and see if I can get in here Fucking foot is cramping. I'm kicking with one leg. It fucking hurts. Yeah, it fucking hurts.
Yeah. Ah, oh, fucking man. My foot's so cramped up. Fucking hurts, man. Oh, it fucking hurts. Oh, man. Well, I don't know what that looked like. You know, I, I don't know. I don't have it on the... Do I have it on top? Res no. I'm not sure where I got the resolution because I think this camera I have a set for the horizontal balancing or whatever it's called, which means it's a lower quality image. I don't know. <sighs> All right, all right, all right. Yep. All right, all right. All right already. I just want to see if I'm recording. That would be something I want to see, you know? Make sure that <laughs> it sucks. I get in and I find out I haven't even done any recording, you know? I think we're, we're recording, it says. I've been recording now for 33 minutes, huh? Yeah, okay, good. 33 minutes. Like 33.53. All right, it's good. Oh, I hate that my foot's all cramped up. Need some dill pickles, I guess. Dill pickles, huh? Here we go. All right. Okay. All right, let's go around the island. Around the island. All right. All right, here we go. Wouldn't that look so much better if there weren't any cars up there? Parked up there. My dad got to go on a fishing trip where he was flown into a remote lake I don't know if it was like up into Manitoba maybe I think it was but oh, I was like man if there was ever a trip I remember it because I was like damn I would have loved to have gone with him you see that fish fish came up there So, I'm still wanting to get into the river, like this, just as I am like this, but to swim against the current of the Beaver River. I, I know that the current might be just too much for me. Even if I was healthy, it'd be a, I think it would be a challenge. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have to treat these teeth tonight with that ivermectin. Fuck. Ah, ivermectin. Here we go. I got a buckle that was digging into my my ribs a little bit. Anyway, it felt like it anyway. Look at that. What is that sticking up out of the water? Is that a, a turtle head? Can you see it? What is that? It might not be anything. Oh, it's something. I don't know. The stick. I think it's a stick. I mean, there's a there's a limb that's made its way out here. 
not a turtle. I saw coming up on it was like a turtle. I don't know what the hell it is. Here we go. Man, that fucking tooth is really talking to me. Motherfucker. <laughs> Okie dokie. Doesn't feel too bad, you know. So, I've got pain. I mean, like there's sharp pain that comes in to the areas that I'm challenged. But it's like it, it takes turns, you know. It's like pain in my shoulder, pain in my knee is from radiating pain from my back or my, you know, or I got that funky feeling down in my toes. Yeah, I got the numbness in my fingers. Um, Got the toothache. Got the tenderness in my lower back where the fusion is. It's connected to the. Oh, oh, getting too close to shore there. Touching down here. Yeah. All right, let's go. The neck. Mm. But everything is it's an orchestra of pain. And, you know, it's like. Sometimes it's a solo, um, but eh. <sighs> musician solo is called a what? Hmm. This helmet's not too bad, though. It rides down a little bit too far on your forehead, but other than that, maybe that's a good thing, you know. If you fall on your face, it might keep your whole nose from being scraped off or something, you know. Like that, and you fall, it might break your nose, but you're not going to lose it entirely. Something to hook on to. <sighs> May I forbid that I have to find out, you know. All right, let's turn this around a little bit. All right. Let's turn this around. Your splashed in my face. Did I get it all over the lens? You know, that I don't know. That would suck. Did I? No, thank you. I didn't. We're 40 minutes, 40 40, that's what it said. 40 40, huh? 40 40. WD. Alright, here we go. Ah, ooh. A lot of cramping in my right foot right now. Ah. It's the kind of cramp that you couldn't work through if you were swimming. I don't know, maybe. It'd be tough. I said you can't work through it. Uh, maybe you could. I mean, it's either that or drown. So, maybe you would. I don't know what's creeping up my fucking back. This whole fucking uh, apparatus has creeped up my fucking back. And um, it's hitting the back of my helmet. How about that, huh? Ain't that something? Uh, I didn't even realize it, and I started feeling it. You know, like I said, I, I took these precautions, but still, it's uh, creeped all the way up and uh, into my armpits. Even I, I didn't expect that to happen, but it did. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it when you're out here swimming, you know. But all this shit moved up, ah, creeped up, 
and it should all be down around my waist and it's more up here now on my chest and my upper back and then it makes it hard, even harder to move oh well I don't know if there's any way to fix it. You know, but boy, is it fucking irritating. That's fucking irritating. I don't know if I can get here to shore, stand up for a moment, or get up out of the water a little bit and fix this because I still have a good half an hour to make it back. And it's really gonna fucking spoil everything, you know? can almost touch the bottom here and it's kind of like a gravelly bottom that's nice okay I can put the oar between my legs all right all right we got it we got it now I can fix this fucking shit scoot it on down here oh, fucker. I think I can do it man let's see Maybe, maybe, maybe it's possible. We'll find out, that's for sure. Just making some corrections. I see what happened. I see what happened. I can actually make a correction. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so glad I could recognize what the problem is here. Can uh, make a correction. Now that's nice. Yeah. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You fucker. It's hard to get, but I'm. It's like the more that I struggle when well, my fucking tooth hurts because uh, the energy that I'm using is taking away from whatever energy it takes to suppress pain kind of makes sense don't it oh, fucker it's like you got a resource or what are they call resource yeah you've got a certain amount of of energy to suppress a pain or an Let's say a fucking virus or whatever the fuck it is. And uh, when you exceed with that, you know, that limitation, then you're, then you start having problems. So it manifests, you know, in this with my, that's better. It manifests with pain in the, the teeth that are bothering me. But if it wasn't the teeth, it would be something else could be who knows I'm just saying it could be any type of disease you know it could be given you could take advantage of the depletion of your energy oh boy I mean like you know if you've got a, a fucking retrovirus okay and you're out in the fucking cold and your core your temperature drops and and your body will switch priority to warm up your core and whatever it was doing to suppress the retrovirus or whatever disease you know then that disease will have you know, be able to, we'll be able to take advantage of that. So there's a balance. While you're training, I suppose, if, even if you're in shape, you know, you have to measure the training. You make gains in increments. You wouldn't want to, like, I suppose, like doing a full body, like weight workout, and you tear a lot of muscle tissue all over that would require resources you know or 
if you need sleep, you're sleep deprived. There's so many factors, isn't there? But right now, uh, I'm just taking it easy, man. If I can stay out here, oh, fuck. I mean, if I make it to where I put in from this point, I've done something, but uh, you know, I'm feeling nauseous right now. And I'm hardly putting forth any real effort. I feel sick right now. Yeah, I feel it. It's a sickening fucking... Uh, honey, I can't even describe it except this, this nausea, pain with my fucking, especially my bottom tooth. And, uh, you know, the nausea is close to throwing up, like it's there, it's not just threatening it. There's a fatigue, and with the fatigue is a, there's this lightness in my head, you know? My consciousness seems all right. You know, I've just become aware of my hands that are in the water. They, um, it probably would be a good idea to wear some gloves and uh, put some, some type of uh, hand lotion protector, you know, on your hands before you put on the gloves. Something that keeps them from getting wet. It might help. Every time I get in the water, I think about that. And as it gets colder, if I'm able, God willing, yeah willing, I'll be out here with neoprene gloves on. Neoprene gloves. Neoprene gloves. Yeah, neoprene gloves. If I could do anything, I'd probably get bigger pieces of this and um, have it so that when they put when they're pushed together, there's no they're interlocking. touch upon a discussion that I had today with this woman, godly woman. I went up to the local um, local garage and she was in there as I was I was waiting to see someone. First thing she started talking about was like she was stumping for Trump feeling me out 
where I was, you know. I mean, she didn't just come right out and say, vote for Trump. She was... <sighs> and um, kindly and lovingly, and uh, as it was throughout our interaction, in Jesus' name, you know, I said to her, you know, I'm just like I was when I was in the service. I'm apolitical, and um, I'm an issue person. And then I went on further, she, she, she was starting to say, if you know Jesus, and I said, I know that there are no politics in heaven, and that Jesus had nothing to do with this world, and this, these political systems, or political systems, which is true. But I gave her, you know, in Christ, I gave her the liberty that she deserves to bring up a couple things. And she was quick to quote, quote scripture. And there's a difference between knowing scripture and quoting scripture. She, um, some people that are, that quote scripture, they'll kind of like overwhelm you, you know? Do you know what I mean by that? When I say overwhelm? Uh, but everything she was saying was fine, you know, it was, the Word of God is good for teaching, reproving, and and uh, to help us help anyone, you know. So, gave her, her res the respect she deserved. And here we go. There you go, buddy. See that bee? What kind of bee is that? He's like, why the hell am I here? And I say, I don't know. I don't want to fuck him up. Let's go ahead and don't bite me, motherfucker. You just don't sting my ass. I put him up on top of my helmet and hopefully he didn't fall back off. He can fly away when he finds it. But anyway, did he fall back into the water again? I want to make sure. Did he? I don't see him, or is that him right there? Is that a water bubble, or... No, I think he's on top of my helmet. Anyway. But I waited to bring up the subject of the uh, vile, evil nation state of Israel that is not the Israel of God. And she, <laughs> oh, man, she was, she was overwhelmed, and but she didn't become over like unrestrained in spirit. But she, but she started to. She started to. And I said to her, you know, how are we to, in Jesus' name to bless someone that's in the action? of maim and murder of defenseless civilians, women, children, in Jesus' name. How do you do that? You can't. So it was a tough thing. Now, she came, became unrestrained in spirit a little bit. I um, don't really know how much of the Holy Spirit she had to begin with. Now, she told me that she was in prison, prison ministry for 14 years. Well, I think that's great. But, uh, I didn't come right out and say it, but don't, don't try to tell me that Yah is with you when you are blessing someone that is 
maiming, murdering defenseless civilians in Jesus' name. Whose name means God is my salvation. Yah is my salvation. Yeshua. That's what Jesus' name is. That's his name and that's what it means. So, she was troubled. And I reached in, I gave her a hug. I said, I know you. I said, I said, you're, I said, we're being loving here. She didn't like it, man. You know, to her. I said to her, I said, you pray about it. I said, and you'll see that that Israel is your blessing is not the Israel of God. Oh, there's so many that are deceived. And I could feel her spirit coming up against me. And you're like, she got built up, you know, if she did, did 14 years of prison ministry, you know, that's a, that's a lot of blessing of God that's behind her, you know, that she's received. But you know, I was still able, able to calmly, you know, speak the truth, lovingly. And there were eyes and ears around me. Uh, you know, a lot of spirits, but then people too. I think she was related to the people that owned the gas station. That might have been their mother. And they were looking at me. But they had nothing. I was never, you know, nothing that they could uh, attack on. You know, there was nothing, there wasn't anything there to trigger them to do that. But they were watching. For a lot of the uh, spirits, you know, that are with her, it must be amazing to come across someone that is that is saying such a thing. I mean, it's like, huh? It must be dumbfounding. No, really. I mean, when you think about how many in Christendom are deceived. You know, with as much as we can find out about what's going on today. Do you understand what I mean? Do you know what I'm talking about? Like we've got so many sources, uh, ways, satellite, you know, by satellites and all these devices, people taking video and everything of the atrocities that the nation state of Israel is committing. Hold on. Oh man, oh shit. You know, I was gonna put on another mode, like for night, night mode or whatever, but um, I couldn't, I couldn't find it. <laughs> I don't know where it is, so. <sighs> Fuck. I'm not sure what the resolution and everything must be in order to get that night low light resolution low light setting oh uh, well there you go i think that's a mallard two mallards three mallards there's more of them. More of them. That's some geese over there. Well, I'm not going to be able to do as much in here tonight as I would have liked to have done. But, you know, it's okay. Look at 
Где? Что где? There, can you see those geese? How cool that is the way they're coming in. Doo. Look at that, they're gonna come right in here. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. I thought there for a moment they were gonna come right in. Touch down over here. But they didn't. Keep going. But it was, it was really something because it taxed me a little bit because she was unrestrained of spirit. Um, had some fellowship with my wife and uh, afterwards so she was strong. This woman I talked to, she was strong in the spirit. She was strong enough that she, I took a few hits, you know, from her. But, in Jesus' name, I think I came out of it stronger because, in truth, I looked at, you know, the truth is, is I, I was in, in truth. I was speaking truth, you know, and her, her being a little unrestrained in the spirit might have been like her trying to, sound, you know, to, it was like a fight or flight. I hate to tell you that, but, I mean, I hate to say it, but I gave her a hug in Jesus' name. And I told her as I held her in close. I did tell her, I said, I said, they're not the Israel of God. I said, you are. I said, we are in Christ by the everlasting covenant. Well, how would you think that, would you really think that Yah would give the promises to a people that have what? They've refused to receive, you know, the gift of God's offering of His only begotten Son, God sacrificing Him and our Lord, His only begotten Son, Yeshua, obeying the will of the Most High and suffering. Death for us, you know. So, you know, I'm sorry, but they're not entitled to anything. Um, whatever promises there were, you know, that's a, in the spirit um, through the everlasting covenant. How could it be any other way? I think God's going to reward a people that deny the, the offering of His only begotten Son deny the suffering, that even mock the suffering of his most beloved? No. He's not going to, he doesn't even give them shit. You they get what everyone else gets, sunshine and air to breathe, water. But you know, she is an heir and so is everyone that's in Christ that is laying their hands on and blessing that monstrous nation state of Israel. And I, in Christ, I don't fear, you know, speaking the truth about it, because what? What is behind that truth? 
Yes, the living God. The living God than all of the heavenly hosts. <laughs> that's, that's really something to say. You think about what this earth is. Here we are. What I just said is pretty powerful. So, that's where it stands. And, uh, you know, that's just how it is. And, uh, I know it's not anybody that's been raised that way, thinking that, uh, thinking, you know, that, that they're supposed to bless that satanic um, organization that calls itself Israel. Yeah, I'm sorry. I said a few things and she... It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, it's like I... I gave her her due respect. But... I wasn't preaching Donald Trump certainly wasn't preaching that monstrous regime the nation state of Israel that cruel callous entity satanic satanic form antichrist the antichrist nation of the world I'm not you know you're preaching that man you're they're seriously deceived. They did something. I was amazed. This woman had command of a lot of scripture to quote. And it didn't matter. It didn't matter how good of a memory she had in Northiva. She was quick to point up, you know, that Satan, we have an example of Satan quoting scripture to the one we know as Jesus out in the wilderness when he was fasting for 40 days. Of course, Satan knows, knows scripture better than any man. And anyone that is deceived, you know, they, can know, they can quote scripture too. All of her, and her quoting, Scripture didn't even line up. It wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't by aspiration that she was giving me the scripture. It didn't align itself even with anything that I was talking about. She was on like, um, her, her discernment wasn't even there. I mean, of course, because she wasn't guided of the Holy Spirit to minister, you know. She started by preaching politics, Donald Trump, using words like, we can't let the communists, you know, this and that and that and that. And I got to thinking even, you know, the perfect form of communism, perfect, meaning that, you know, without any corruption. What is a commune? What is a perfect loving commune? I mean, with agape love. <laughs> it's the body of Christ. A perfect, perfect. I'm talking about perfect. No corruption, you know. Perfect form of it. <laughs> it's true. I mean, in that commune, you know, you share with those that are in need. It's not like a capitalist system, you know, where your motivations are what? Uh, predominantly um, to earn, to gain wealth and um, influence, uh, power. 
Well, predominantly, isn't it? I mean, what would you say that it's something else? <laughs> Out of opulence, capitalists give for the most part, right? You'll have some that will give. That uh, in altruism, in a spirit of altruism, some, there are some that their eyes are opened and they give. As they should, they treat others as they want to be treated. But for the most part, that's not the way it works, is it? People amass their fortune and uh, they live their life as lavishly or, you know, under a guise of practicality. It's used still, it's a lot of people in need that you could help instead of helping yourself. It's a very good thing. The way it is. I wasn't unloving to that elder sister, a 14 year veteran of prison ministry. That was uh, impressive. But she must have felt threatened like whatever, you know, they're, you know. <laughs> That's Mark. That's my buddy Mark saying hello. Huh. I think I'm going to get out of here now while I still have some daylight. You know? Well, I still have some daylight. Mark will be coming back around. <sighs> There's a fish that just jumped right there. <clears throat> well, I don't know how, what kind of money I've got left, but I may go ahead and... I may just go ahead and get a fishing license and tomorrow's Friday. Like tomorrow I can prepare. For a trip up the mountains. Narciva really wants to go. Why wouldn't I, right? Probably up there, McKean, Elk County, Clarion County, Cameron County. The leaves. So today's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. If we go up for Saturday, probably I'd say the leaves would be pretty much changing big time. Here we're a little bit behind because uh, it's a little warmer. We're about three hours south of the place of where I'm talking about. My wife said she would like to get a camper trailer and pull behind the truck. I think she's right about that. I guess she is, you know. Um, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and do this 153 times, just lifting my legs up. Ah. Ooh. 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 Mmm. Ooh. 
Wow, that was a challenge. I was just lifting up my legs, you know. Whew, that was a rough one. Hardly did anything. Oh, man. I was encouraged tonight. I heard my wife say, you know, she, she said, I'll be, and she said this age, and it was 10 years younger than she is. And I was, hallelujah, one of those moments. I was like, I was happy to hear that. Yeah. Yep. I was happy to hear that. Next time, it'll be 20 years or 30 years, or 40, or 50 years. You know, difference. Hallelujah.
Yeah. Well, well, well. Oh. Oh, well. Got some hiccups. Well, well, well. <laughs> These belts really slid up on my frickin' all the way up to the back of my head. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> oh, man, is there someone standing down there? Standing down there fishing off of that reservoir. Can you see him? That black figure, can you see it so wet? Right there where it says no trespassing. I think that's a silhouette of a person. It is. Oh, I'd love to get down there. It's too bad he wouldn't just stay there because that will make a cool video. Right where He's fishing, it says, no trespassing. You know, to get close enough. I'm, not, I'm just saying, dude. <laughs> Does that make any sense what I'm saying? Can you see him from here? Can you see him walking now? That black silhouette. Is that a real big guy? He might be fishing. He might be fishing off of the dam. Even getting in there is a bit of a challenge. <laughs> he waited, waited until later in the evening so he wouldn't, you know, have a lot of problems with anybody, you know. I get it. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. You know. A couple more silhouettes over there. Walking along, people that are dressed in black. So you know, I, in Jesus' name, I'm grateful. You know that I might get some help. You know, but uh, you know. My situation were to be someone with authority, influence, and power in our administration. If they were to review the, the, the two matters that I have given testimony to, uh, getting a fair and just result wouldn't be <sighs> without reason to suggest retirement status at a fair pay grade reflecting you know where where it was that I was going I was awarded as being the best that the Air Force had in my AFSC with orders being cut to serve at the Pentagon in honor of that. I mean, imagine that. And then that crooked-ass congressman from District 17, Pennsylvania, who tipped off the rep his, you know, one of his representative buddies there in, is it Hall County, uh, Oklahoma? Is it Hall? I can't remember the name of the county there. Anyway, wherever the Air Force Base is, is what I'm saying, he tipped off. And that's a powerful um, representative there to have, you know, an Air Force base or an Army post or Marine post, I'm saying, whatever, you know, having something like that within your uh, district, you know, someone that could carry some weight, a little more weight. So, a little quid pro quo, or what is it, quid? 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 Quid, quid pro quo, whatever the hell. Tip them off about 
congressional. Even though Colonel Hazeltine was passed over for general, it saved the district that that congressman represented or the senator in that part of the, that, that uh, represented the constituents in that part of uh, Oklahoma. Saved them a lot of embarrassment, and, which could have cost them the next, you know, uh, who knows? You know, those are determining factors in the elections. Like, you know, uh, something crazy going on with prejudice, you know, and the social actions fails um, at a military base where there's reverse discrimination. Those things sound pretty messed up to constituents when, at the, you know, when it comes time to make decisions about who they want to represent them. So, yeah, yeah. So there are all these records that people can, can, uh, you know, the, uh, that can be accessed, you know. Oh, shit. You know, I didn't do much here today, but it wore me out. I'm feeling it. I mean, all I did was went up around that island and back. It ain't really shit. You know, that ain't nothing. It really, it isn't. But it was enough. Now, if I get out of here quick enough, I can go ahead and uh, fill that. I got a container up there that I can put water in and rinse this wetsuit off with and rinse uh, my gear off with and most importantly though the wetsuit and everything could because I'll have to walk in the house you know get back there and take a shower and this bacteria I'm conscious of it I don't want to contaminate you know our bathroom and everything with it you know when I go in there to take a shower I gotta walk in there I might drip some of this shit through the house I don't know so I'm gonna try to wash up that's what gets challenging as it gets colder they turn off the water here there's a water spigot up there when they turn it off there's no way to wash so you can't really fucking you know everything is ah, it isn't even the fact that it might freeze over which I don't have the gear gear that would keep me warm enough then but oh boy this is a tr challenge you wouldn't think so. I mean, I worked my calves out there in the water. It was just nice and easy with these flippers. You know, warm, it wore, wore me out. I'm feeling feeling uh, that. I wonder what this is right here. What is this? What is this? There's something right here. What is oh, just a stick. In the water. In the water. That stick looked like a... Uh, I don't know. It could have been anything, right? It's just a stick. Hmm. All right, so here we go. Here we go. You feel the cold. I see my buoyant buoyancy. My dumbbells that are buoyant over there. I want to grab them before I forget. Oh man, this is rough. Okay, so first thing first. Well, I think I'm going to grab them. Put, oh, put them on this container. Not just uh, push everything over to that area instead of having to walk back here because, um, well, oh, it's hard to do. It's hard to do. I'll leave all the gear on for a minute. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing, it's all fucked up. All fucked up. Huh. Whew, okay. Things are a bit of a challenge here. Just moving right now. There's a, do you understand why I would be so tired, you know? Weakened from that, that wasn't shit. You know, but uh, I have to deal with it. It is what it is. But I feel it. There's really you know, a lot of weakness. I didn't hardly, hardly did anything. Oh, 
It wasn't like I ever really put forth any real effort or anything. Oh god. Oh well. Oh. I am glad I turned that minnow free. There's one minnow I turned free earlier. Oh god. That sky is pretty cool. It's got a real nice orange or a pink cast above the blue. Um, I'm gonna push this thing from behind and push it up here. Oh, I can bend over, give my back. Because I mean, standing up, my back is real tight right now. Get this stuff off of here and put these shoes up here. They're all dry and clean. And, and uh, we'll take this up there and dump it. Oh, you wait. Flip this over. Dumping the contents. Hello. <laughs> There we go. Hoi, hoi, okay. Bring this over to here. Put some water in it. Hype, hype, hype. Okay. Very good, very good. Fill it up. I hope the water's clean. Uh-oh. Uh what we're getting is air. It may already turned off the water. I hear it, but it ain't coming out, so they must have already turned off the valve. It's sucking. It's sucking water, meaning that they have some type of system that sucks all of the water out of the line. So I got no way to wash up. Fuck. Yeah, it's sucking. See? So. Okay, they already turned off the water, fucker. That sucks. That really sucks. Could be worse. All right. A way to mitigate contamination. I know what I can do. Just have to work, just have to work smart. Take off whatever I can, you know, the gear that I have on. And, uh, well, yeah, let's take off as much as I can. I have um, a tarp put over the seat. And, uh, oh, wait, wait, here we go. Just got to work with what I got here. The water's already turned off. Son of a bitch. Okay. You know, the gear, washing it up, really washing it all up doesn't really matter. I was wanting to wash up this wetsuit though. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Nope, ain't gonna happen. <laughs> but I am gonna take off this gear. Uh -huh. I'll take it on off, yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. <sighs> mm -hmm. Take off the gear. And uh, that'll make a big difference. Yep, okay. Good, that's all the gear. Uh, uh, when I get, when I get, Provision. Oh, oh, oh. 
That's me taking off my leg weight. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I don't feel that exhausted. Not really. Ooh. It's going okay. All right. Okay. Here we are. Slip off the flippers. See, I got a clean shirt. What else do I have in here? Mm, I don't think I have a clean, clean, like a dry pair of shorts. But, you know. You know, you know. It don't matter. It's all right. But I do have some shirts. Whew. Okay. That kind of sucks, man. I didn't think they were we're gonna turn that all off so early hmm gotta get these flippers off Eey, not easy Oi. Oi. this fucker this left one I can't. horrible man it's fucking horrible I hate the fact that I just gotta get down on my sit down just to fucking pull my leg up just to get this fucking shit off but you know Ain't nothing I can do about it, except work with it, baby. Work with it. Whew, let's go. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh, Lord. I'm glad I got out of there before it got pitch dark, though. Ah. Uh, oh, shit. There. Pulled my leg. Bite, bite, bite. Ah. Fucking hit, boy. Okay. 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 I'm gonna get these ready for the next time. You know what I mean? Here we go. The next time. If there is, God willing, a next time. I don't know. I don't know if there is a next time. I don't know, but I'll prepare. Everything I have will have to be washed because I don't have an extra pair. Oh, I got—I might have an extra pair of socks. That'd be great because that means I won't have. Well, still I'll wash them fucking shoes because I'm gonna. Oh God, getting these fucking fucking thing on. Oh, oh. that fucking sucked. All right. Okay, that's good. Throw that over there. What I'm gonna step on here is gonna be there's a lot of fucking <laughs> oh god I should strengthen my fingers for this kind of stuff because <sighs> motherfucker boys that's fucking suck let's go okay now let's take this shit off okay what do I have here I gotta slip this shit off all right let's go gotta take it off man it's warm too you know up against my body the air out here is colder than you know what I'm inside of the suit well of course oh <sighs> boy boy I got no water to wash up with at all damn can't believe this is over already you know ain't that something <sighs> 